In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, as we gather today to praise and worship God, and to share the sacrament of Christ's body and blood, let's give thanks to the Lord for nourishing us with his word and with the Eucharist. Let's ask him to cleanse our hearts and minds so that we may be truly worthy to receive him. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us praise God together. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in, in the glory, glory of God, God the, the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of God as it is proclaimed to us. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, after Abram's return, King Mesaldech of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God Most High. He blessed Abram and said, Blessed be Abram by God Most High, maker of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him one-tenth of everything. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. to my master. 
Reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also, after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God and healed those who needed to be cured. The day was drawing to a close, and the twelve came to him and said, Send the crowd away so that they may go into the surrounding villages and countryside to lodge and get provisions, for we are here in a deserted place. But Jesus said to them, You give them something to eat. They said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we are to go and buy food for all these people. For there were about five thousand men. And Jesus said to his disciples, Make the people sit down in groups of about fifty each. They did so, and made them all sit down. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven, and blessed and broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. And all ate and were filled. What was left over was gathered up. Twelve baskets of broken pieces. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Have you ever wondered how many different kinds of Masses you've attended in your life? Of course, there's the Sunday Mass, but there are also weekday Masses. There are funeral masses and memorial masses, wedding masses, confirmation masses, graduation masses, healing masses, ordination masses, and the list goes on and on. It seems that almost every occasion we celebrate as Catholics is accompanied by the Eucharist. 
Of course, we have countless other kinds of prayer experiences, the rosary, the liturgy of the hours, biblical services, etc. But there's something about the Mass that appeals to every Catholic. And I don't think that it's just because it's a prettier ceremony. Think about it. What happens when we go to Mass? We gather as a community. We hear God's Word. And we're fed by Christ Himself. That's very similar to what happened to that crowd gathered in the wilderness 2,000 years ago that we just read about in today's Gospel. They had come together from different places to hear Jesus speak the Word of God to them. They had broken bodies and broken hearts and wanted to feel the healing touch of Christ. And they were hungry, both physically and spiritually. And Jesus was able to fill not just their stomachs, but their souls. The language that's used in the story of the multiplication of the loaves and the fish is very Eucharistic. He took the bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples. What we experience at Mass is what those sad and hungry people experienced when they were fed by the Lord Jesus. We receive words of comfort and consolation that give us the courage and strength to continue on our journey. We have solidarity with our brothers and sisters. And we feel more satisfied than if we had attended a great banquet. Is it any wonder that we want a Mass for all our special occasions? We don't just want it. We need it. Because if we're not fed and nursed by Christ, then we leave hungry. As a priest, I'm privileged to be able to celebrate the Eucharist all the time. And it's hard for me to even go a day without it. As Catholics, we're blessed to have the Mass readily available to us in most cities and rural areas. Imagine how it would feel to live in a place where the priest could only come a few times a year, as it happens in some countries. It would feel like we're missing something in our lives. It's hard for me to understand how some people can go without the Eucharist for years. They must feel empty and hungry. And I'm convinced that the main reason that Catholics return to the church is because they realize that they simply can't live without being fed by Christ's body and blood. Today, the church gives us this wonderful feast of the body and blood of Christ to help us appreciate the great gift we receive every time we gather around the table of the Lord. 2,000 years ago, the great crowd received more than a little bread and fish. They received something that, would, that could not have been purchased in the surrounding villages. The gift of Christ who satisfied their hunger for truth and life. Whenever we gather for the Mass, we need to realize that we too receive much more than a little wafer of bread. It's our risen Savior who gives Himself to us body, soul, and divinity. He is our spiritual food who nourishes us on our journey of life. When we receive Holy Communion, we experience communion with our God. And hopefully that will lead us to deeper union with our own brothers and sisters. So then, it makes sense that we should want the Mass for all our special celebrations. Because when we're able to share a meal with each other, we experience joy and peace. So too, when we share this sacred meal of the body and blood of Christ, we receive peace of heart and mind on this earth and we prepare ourselves for the eternal banquet that Christ has prepared for us in his heavenly kingdom 
in that blessed place where all our hungers will be satisfied. Together now let us make our profession of faith. I believe, I believe in, in God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven, heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Eucharist is the promise of the unity of all humanity in the love of Christ. Let us pray for the coming of that day. For the Church, striving to bring the good news to those who hunger for bread and for recognition of their human dignity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders and agencies who provide food and assistance to populations in need, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For people who struggle for their daily bread, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and the infirm separated from their parish, communities, and all those who join us today, that this Mass celebrated for them will bring comfort and joy, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us take a few moments and offer our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, hear and grant the prayers we offer in the name of Jesus, who lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Having listened to God's word, let us now celebrate his supper with joy and thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the Last Supper with His Apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, 
we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, when we eat this bread and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, the glory, glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And now let's think about somebody with whom we might not be at peace and resolve to reconcile with that person as soon as possible.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that chair in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Good morning and thank you for being with us on this Sunday morning. A special word of thanks to Father Ernesto Di Ciccio. Father Ernie is pastor of St. David's Parish in Maple, Ontario. I want to thank you as well for your many, many encouraging letters of support and for your financial support. TV is very costly and if it wasn't for your good financial support, we couldn't be with you for these past 26 years. And so until next week at this time, please pray for us and rest assured, of our prayers. God bless you.